Hello, this is Alison Giblet from Kiev, Ukraine, where I have been now serving for 19 years. I am sent here by the Church Mission Society to support the local church, the Tabernacle of the Living God, and to lead the Genesis Inner Healing Ministry here in Ukraine. Genesis runs online and face-to-face -face support groups that meet once a week for four months while they work through 10 different processes geared to enabling people to identify the roots of their destructive habits and to receive support and accountability in order to form new habits. Please pray for all involved that we will see and hear God's voice which brings healing and wholeness. At the Tabernacle of the Living God, we are very grateful to God for his protection and provision through, uh, for us during these last few years. About a third of our congregation are still living abroad, but those who left to other parts of the country returned in the middle of last year, like we did. We continue to have new people come and in, had the joy of leading four people in baptism this month. In response to the consequences of the war, we have developed a restoration and chaplaincy ministry. Through the restoration ministry of TLG Church, we serve to bring spiritual, emotional and practical restoration to people in the areas damaged by the war. <coughs> this involves in visiting people in their homes to bring hope, prayer, support, humanitarian aid and to provide practical support. This summer, we led four children's camps. These day programs are an opportunity not only to give the children lots of fun, but to impart God's truth, his love and desire for a relationship with them. We are also able to give them useful presents like school resources and personally designed t-shirts. Due to the threat of bombs in this, and in particular the targeting of schools, the Ukrainian government brought out a law that during the war, schools were not allowed to operate in person without a secure bomb shelter. So all the classes had to be run online. Many pupils do not have the technical equipment or necessary support at home for effective learning. We have now helped construct two secure bomb shelters near schools where children and teachers can be protected in the necessary. The chaplaincy ministry has been supporting war video widows and making trips to encourage soldiers and other people near the front line. We are very grateful for your support, which has been vital during this challenging time. We do not know when the war will end, but we do know that our loving Father is always with us to protect and provide. We are privileged to be his hands and feet and spokesmen to those in need. With much love, from Kiev, Ukraine.